Hey guys, it's Matthew from Bliss Collects. Just got back from the bank with a ton of new boxes of coins. And here's a nickel box that we have to hunt today. Not seeing too much on the ends. Could be a good sign, could be a bad sign. Let's get into it and see what's on the other side. Nothing super apparent on this side, but this roll may be short a nickel, which is strange to find in bank wrapped. Maybe not, but it's looking pretty short. I'll bring you guys in on the first find, if or when we have it. Roll number two. We have a 1948 nickel. Minted out of Philly. We'll add it to the board. Let's continue the hunt. Very next roll, and we have the elusive 1955 nickel. Still looking for the 55p. Will this finally be it? And it's not. This is making me super angry since I've found about 30 of these and still haven't found the P. Well, I'll have you guys here. Let's just check out this one. You know, it could be older. 58D. Perfect. Uh, well, I have you guys here. Might as well just, you know, skim through. Don't have to bring you back then. This roll. Okay. I'll bring you in on the next find. Very next roll, and we'll have another 1958 nickel. This time minted out of. Philly, that's a better date. Mint mark combo. Let's see if we can find some more. Hey guys, roll number six. And before I show you what I found, I noticed something. We got two different types of wrappers. We got Harrisburg right here and unmarked type. Never seen that in a box before from the bank, plus the short roll. It should be a weird box. But right here we have a 1953 nickel minted out of Philly. I'll check it for a Henny nickel and I'll bring you guys in on the next five. Roll number seven. I think we'll have an Aldi. Denver Mint Mark. 1957. I'll add it to the board. I'll bring you guys in on the next find. Roll number 10 and I think we'll have at least one find. Flattened out the roll and this roll might have some finds. Let's start at the front. First maybe here. 64 here 1954 philly a little black tarnish to it and where was it right here this one looked like it could have been older a 57d add those two to the board let's continue the hunt roll number 14 and we'll at least have one find 1956 nickel oh looks like love too let's just check out the mint marks i guess Philly and Denver. That's pretty cool. And I guess there's a, another older mint mark there. You know, just pan through the roll, see if there's anything obvious to bring you guys in with. Oh, right here. Almost missed it. 1947 nickel minted out of Philly. I'll check this for the Henny nickel and bring you guys back if it is. Otherwise, let's continue the hunt. Roll 21. I think we'll have an oldie. Philly Mint Mark, 1957. That's another pretty good day, only like 19 million minted. Let's just pan through the roll while I have you here. Not seeing anything obvious. Wait, hold on. Oh, 61. Okay, let's continue the hunt. Very next draw, we have a 1953 nickel. Minted out of Denver. Add it to the board. Let's quickly just, you know, Pan through the rest of the roll. See if there's anything obvious. Not seeing anything. Let's continue the hunt. Roll 26. Looks like we'll have a couple more finds. Back here I saw a 1956. Minted out of Denver. And over here I saw a 1941. This time minted out of Philly. I'll add them to the board. Let's continue the hunt. Roll 29. We'll have a 1954 nickel. This time minted out of Denver. I'll add that to the brown stack right there. And I'll bring you guys in on the next find. Same roll. We have a 1947 nickel. This one will be minted out of Philly. I don't see the looped R. I'll check it for a honey nickel by weighing it. And if it's not, I'll bring you guys in on the next find. Very next draw, we'll have our first foreign. It's a Canadian. It looks to be pretty new. 2010. I'll bring you guys in on the next find when we have it. Very next roll yet again. We'll have an old verse, and I believe this will be an oldie. 
by the back I'd assume maybe 40s, 1940. New oldest nickel of the hunt, and while I have you here, I'll just quickly scan the rest of the roll. Some strange colors. Okay, don't see anything else. I'll bring you guys in on the next find. Roll 34. We'll have a 1953 nickel. Let's check what mint mark. Denver mint. I'll add that to the board. And while I have you here, let's just quickly check for any obvious old ones. This one could be one. Nope. Okay, I'll bring you guys in on the next find. Roll 36, and this must be the box of the 50s nickels, because yet again, we have another 1956 nickel. Minted out of Denver. Well, I'll have you here. Let's just quickly pan through the rest. Not seeing anything, so let's continue the hunt. Roll 37, and I think we'll have a few 40s, or at least a couple, since I saw this 1948 nickel. Looked a couple coins back, and there's another 40s right there. Let's first check out this 1948, minted out of Denver, and let's check out this other one, 40s nickel. 1949, minted out of Denver as well. Both good finds that I'll add to the board. Same roll, and just a few coins later, we might have another find. Philly mint mark, could be cleaned. 1957, while well, I have you guys here, let's just check this one as well. 64. Let's continue the hunt. Roll number 47, no, 48. And it looks like we'll have our oldest nickel of the hunt, 1939. Flip that over in a second because I also might have seen a couple older wordings. 1960. Okay. Let's get to the 39. It's not that nice, but it could have a mint mark, and it doesn't. I'll check it for a Henny Nickel and the DDR. If it's not those, I won't bring you guys back until our next find, if and when we have one. Okay, the bo first box of the bank has been finished, and it seemed to be a decent box. No good finds, so it's not really that good of a box, but we did have that 139, which helped its case. We had quite 130s, a few 40s, and a lot of 50s. Getting over 20 finds is something, though, to brag about, and only one Canadian. Hope you guys enjoyed the hunt. Like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day.